everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute little magical wands. So I've done similar before. I've made the planter rosettes um, and I've done probably about four or four different tutorials now. So I'll link all of them up above so you can check them out. But these ones, since receiving the fairy towels collection, and the lovely little sayings like make a wish there and just the wand, the little metal wand that comes with the pack. I thought it'd be really nice to make a wand. Now there are some lovely styles on YouTube. You can check out Donna's Whimsical Treasures, um, Shoe Princess, Scrimping Mummy. They've all done really nice wands as well. So I just thought while I've got this collection, I should definitely make one. And aren't they adorable? And I know two special little girls who will be receiving this. One is called Lola Grace. Hello, Lola Grace, because I know that you watch. So this one's going to be finding its way to you. And also Amara. I'm going to be sending one to you as well, Amara. So I hope you enjoy them. So yeah, so this one, like I said, it's got that little metal wand just there. And then this is just all set on a rosette. This is the Fairy Tales decoupage um, little topper there. And then I've used the wonderful matching ribbons. And then I've also made my own little holder here or stick. So basically you can use um, paper straws. You can use a really nice pen. So this whole thing becomes a writing pen. Or in this case, because I like to use what I have lying around. In my last design team box, we received these craft sticks. So what I've already gone ahead and done is I've put four of the craft sticks together. You can just see there. And then just using some of my taser tape, I've just started at the top and just wrap around just with the clear tape, just to make it nice and secure. And then what I will be doing is going over it, get that the right way up, there we go, with washi tape. And you can then make it any color you want to match whatever it is that you're working on. So that's a really, really strong now, lovely little wand that I've got. Okay, so that's what I've got there ready. I am going to be using the Chasing Rainbows and I'm using this awesome, look at that, so pretty. And this is the very, very first one there that you see. So these, you get three glitter designs, two iridescent designs. So that's one of the iridescent ones. So that's what I'm using for this one. So this here is two and a quarter by 12 inches, but 11 and three quarters, so like A4 will be fine or even your letter paper size so 11 that will be okay as well it will still work but that's what you need there and then that's the decoupage paper that I'm using and I've already gone ahead and put together the topper here so you can see I've used the lovely butterfly one I've added in the little metal wand which I've just used hot glue and just wedged it in there I've used one of the bows from the collection and then when you go to add like the little butterflies and things like that just lift them up a little bit so again it just gives them that dimension but that's all ready now and that's going to sit in the middle of my rosette so if you haven't made rosettes before I will share and um, those tutorials as I said before they're very very straightforward but once you kind of get the hang of it you know you can make them very very quickly so I've just got my scoreboard here along the 12 inch side you want to score at every quarter of the inch now you can do every half an inch, that will give you a much more thicker, kind of um, higher rosette. So it would be, um, yeah, just much thicker. Whereas this way, I'll change my, that's not getting right up to the top. There we go. The, um, by doing a quarter of an inch, you get it much lower um, and just more of a fan effect because you're creating more folds. So it's entirely up to you. I do do both ways, so you can, again, look through that playlist and have a little look. But I'm basically scoring here every quarter of an inch all the way along. Okay, so now you can see all those score lines that I've created. And then you just want a concertina fold. So you're gonna fold a mountain fold and then straight into a valley fold. Okay, mountain and valley. It is a little bit fiddly when you do the quarter inch, but again, I think it's worth it. So just spend some time just going along that now, roughly folding it initially, and then you can pinch it all when it's all together to get the much tighter fold. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to also mention that you need two of these pieces, not one. Now what I've just went and quickly done is you just want to take off. So on the both, all the ends there, you'll see you've got mountain folds. See, mountain, mountain, mountain. And then on this one, I've just taken off one part of it because what will happen now is this mountain can then fit over that valley 
rather than a mountain over a mountain and you're doubling up on cardstock whereas this way it just makes it a much more cleaner kind of join so on that valley fold that piece that I just cut away I'm just going to run a piece of this double sided quarter inch red tape because this is a really shiny um, cardstock that I'm working with just make sure it's all stuck down properly and then this piece now it's a bit like a jigsaw it just sits perfectly over that one there and you just get a really nice join and it looks like it was one whole piece like so and when you look underneath you know you wouldn't know now where that one is and then you want to do the same so like I said on another one just cut one piece off like that so I'm just cutting right on that mountain fold of that one there so it's now a valley and then again just run some of my tape like so and then with this one just bring the whole piece round and stick that right over the top again you should have a perfect join now you want to make sure your glue gun's on and it's nice and warm and the easiest thing to do then is just bring all of it in together like that and then you're going to squeeze the whole thing together just like this. Now I'm going to use my little hot glue silicon thumb piece here and I'm going to hold it, keep a gap between my fingers here, be careful because obviously this is hot and you just want to fill that hole with glue and kind of around the outer part as well this is all going to be completely covered okay so I'm just going to hold that there for a moment and let that dry okay now just before that really does set my topper piece here now if you don't want to go straight on and put your topper on just die cut a circle and just stick it over the top of that one there which you'll see me do with the back in a moment but with this one here I'm going to go and stick my butterfly right on top so it's nice and centered and already now that's holding my rosette in place. You can see there how pretty does that look. And then I'm gonna lift it up, flip it over, pop some more hot glue all around those kind of concertina folds, all in the middle there as well. And then I've got this really big one here and I'm just gonna stick that right over. Don't need to stick it on everything, just in that middle bit. That's where this comes in handy because it's quite hot even through that cardstock. And you can put another disc over there if you want. You might want to put who it's, you know, who you're giving this to. It's entirely up to you. But the reason I don't glue underneath all of it is because it gives you room to be able to stick things underneath there. So for example, this will be going like under so far of it. And already now that's nice and concealed. So but there we have most of it done already. Now if you want you can add doilies underneath you know there's there's so many beautiful ways to obviously decorate these but everyone's different so this is my take on it. Now, I've got this butterfly here which I'm going to also kind of have probably up there somewhere and then I have in here all these wonderful goodies from the collection so I'm going to bring out one of these flowers like so. I've already done the wand and that's the ones there those metal ones which are beautiful um, I've already got the bow, so that's the bows there from the pack. That's the doily, so you could put a doily behind that. I'm wondering whether to still do that actually, because I could lift that up. It's not going to. I'm going to take one off and see, I might add a doily actually. And then flat back pals, you can add them. But I think that's probably all I need to add for this one. And from the decoupage I'm going to take out another one of that Make-A-Wish so I just think that's perfect for the wand. There we go, so it's from this one here. Because you can mix and match the sentiments because they all, obviously all the colours match. And this is the ribbon here from the pack so I'm just going to take out some of this gorgeous pink glitter, the butterflies, slightly different lengths and then the I Believe in Fairies one which I just think is gorgeous. It's like it was made for making a wand, this collection, because everything just works so well. There we go, I've got that one off okay, and now I can stick that one. Oh yeah, that's gonna look lovely. So I'm just gonna pop some glue in the middle. So, again, you can 
glue more down if you want, but I don't feel you really need to. And then that now will stick on top of there. Pop that one right in the middle there. I just bring that up. Look at cute. Look at that. Lovely. Then I've got this little one here. And I'm going to add all of these lovely ribbons and the flower. We've got the butterfly and all that lot. Right, so before I carry on with that, with this with the stick here, so obviously if you're just using a straw that's already made, um, you know, you get silver and white ones and all that kind of stuff, make sure they're paper ones. Try not to use the plastic ones because we are trying to stop all of that um, here in the UK. I'm sure other places are as well, but I know it's a big, big topic here. So I'm just trimming off that there, it's bugging me. And then I've just got some washi tape, so I'm just going to start on the top here. And this is just a silver one. You just want to start coming down on an angle and just cover that. But because you're putting it against the, um, the tape, the clear tape there, it's... Um, it will stick much easier than it would directly onto the wood. And like I said, a nice pencil will look good with this as well. So and just kind of seal it at the bottom, like so. And then I've got this silver one, which is going to create my kind of top twisted pattern and get it to stick, like so. And then that one I'm going to leave a much bigger gap. Can you see now as that starts to... All I'm doing is twisting the bottom and pulling the washi tape down as I go. But it's such a quick way to just transform. You know, you might have some wooden doweling lying around as well. Um, that will work for this as well. So, And then again, just going to rip off the bottom there. And then all I did to seal it was go back over it again with the clear tape. Because it's clear, you don't lose any of the shine of the washi underneath. No, that's not going to go anywhere, and that's going to last. It'll probably last a lot longer than a um, paper straw would anyway. But cool, isn't it? So that is now going to stick under there. Or it can go on the back. I'm going to put it on the front one, because I'm going to cover the ribbon and everything around there as well. So I'm just going to pop some hot glue on the top there, where you can still see the wood, because that's all going to be hidden away. Just going to lift that doily up and just make sure. Actually, oh, I've just realised I've stuck two doilies down there. I didn't even realise they're so tightly kind of squashed together. But that's fine, doesn't matter. It just adds a bit more to it. So now, because this one had that disc, I was able to put the ribbon underneath, but you're going to see that with this doily. So I'm just going to neatly stack them on top of each other and cover them up with the rows. So I'm going to do the three like that. So if I just pop a little bit of glue there and there. Like so. You want to make sure they kind of hang nice and straight. Like that. And then with this one here. Again, be very careful with the hot glue. Because once it's on your skin, it is painful. Okay, so now I've got that really, really flat, and you can see all the glue oozing out. Now, because I'm using glitter sticks, they've actually worked really well for this. Because it doesn't matter if any of it is exposed, because the glitter will all add to it anyway. So, just tidying it off a little bit there, because this is obviously going to stick right on top. That glue strings everywhere. So now, pop another little bit on top of the there. And then this one is going to stick right up the top. And then I'm going to stick this rose, this lovely little flower, over the top. And again, it makes making this so easy because everything matches. And just spread that flower out a bit and it totally covers up that. And then on top of that, just below is going to be that lovely Make-A-Wish. Don't need much at all. OK, 
keep everything nice and straight like that and then I'm just going to tidy up the ends here so I want to have it so that you can read it says I believe in fairies so I'm going to cut that end off there and then just very carefully just cut up and I can create I'll use these super sharp ones here create little flag tails on the ends like that one and then this one I'm going to cut up a little bit shorter again cut up the middle and then just join each side and then this one here and these are so easy to make for little boys as well um, you know we've got all the wizards and Harry Potter you could have a Harry Potter themed one I think that would look really nice as well but there you have it two really pretty beautiful ones and there's the back obviously nice and neat as well and if you wanted to put something on there you could put who it's to and look after your wand you know you can really personalize them I think they're such lovely and what a nice inexpensive gift that's a lovely present you could wrap that now in some cellophane put a nice big bow on it and give that as the actual present so I love it I think it's really really nice and um, I'm hoping that Lola Grace and Amara are going to enjoy their wands and um, and use them and there's the other one there aren't they beautiful those little metal ones on there I just think that really sets it off so there you have it guys so really really um, easy tutorial and yeah like I said you can adapt this have any theme you want um, you can really personalize them you can make really silly ones for adults there's so many you know ways to to alter them but yeah I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye